Welcome back to my channel, The Christian Mechanic. Uh, today I want to do another part of a video that I did a while back. Well, I got this gear wrench. Quick release head and with the different bars and everything, but I never actually took it apart and uh, looked at the internals and you know, did all that. So that's what this video is today. It's going to be, we're going to open this, uh, this head up. It's three quarter drive, quick release. It's a gear wrench head. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a uh, gear wrench written anywhere on it, but uh, it's a gear wrench head. So anyway, we're going to just go ahead and open this up and just uh, we're going to take a quick look on the inside of it. And these are Phillips, Phillips bit, uh, screws and then the uh, switch is a Torx, Torx bit. For the uh, reverse uh, switch, there are the there are the screws, and here is the inside of the head. And there, uh, screws actually were uh, blue Loctited in because you can see there's some blue Loctite in the hole right there, and also up here. So we're gonna have them pop this pop this apart. There's the inside of the ratchet, and there is no grease. At all inside the ratchet, so I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, grease, and this looks it's very similar to all the other ratchets that I've taken apart. Uh, the the uh, Craftsman ratchet and the uh, also got a Williams ratchet, uh, just the same kind of style. Even the uh, the Armstrong ratchet that I got, it's the same type of uh, deal on, on the inside, and this one here. There are no seals on either side of the uh, the anvil, and here are the poles, and I got some nice big big springs in there, and you can see the Loctite is inside here that it fell off, so we can uh, add some more Loctite to that. We can prop these poles out. These are the same as any other dual pole. They got the little piece that sits down inside the body. Nothing special. Uh, and then the switch, like I said, the switch just sits in there, and I can tell that the switch is not um, doesn't have a seal in it either. I can I can see the that it's metal to metal. It's right up against the metal. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, we're gonna wipe this out, and I'm gonna put it right back together. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that uh, that grease to. The anvil before I uh, put it back in. I'll just turn it that way. I'll throw the other side back in. There's that. And we'll just set that down for a minute. Yeah, there's really no uh, no sense in taking the uh, the switch out because there's really there's nothing there. Holding it together, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave this switch inside. And there is a little bit of rust on this. Like I said, I really, I've only used this at work a few times, so there's no reason to have all this uh, rust. So this is going to help keep the rust off everything by just a nice thin coating of grease on everything. And I'm just going to squirt. I'll put that bag in there. There's that. I'll just throw a little bit of oil on these uh, bottoms of these poles here. We can uh, just throw a little bit of oil on this stuff just to keep the uh, help keep the rust off everything. And we'll just uh, grab the Loctite. My thing about Loctite, if it uh, mine, mine actually got flipped upside down, so the uh, the hole got clogged a little bit. So I'll just I'll just dip it in there, dip it in the top, and then we'll put it back, put it back together, and we'll just uh, wipe the plate back off. Again, there's uh, there's no markings or anything on the inside of this thing that says that it's a uh, it's a gear wrench. 
uh, my buddy at work, the one he has the same gear wrench, but for for whatever reason his uh his ratchet actually has gear wrench on the head. So I thought that was uh that was interesting. And we'll just put it back in there. Just snug it down. Give it a little. It sounds pretty good. Let's go back the other way. Okay, so I, uh, I'll throw some oil inside the ball detent too. While I'm, while I've got it open. Put a little bit of oil inside this. Shut down. Just like I said, we'll just work it back and forth a couple times. It's not really going down in there like the other ones were. See the, uh, also need to get a measurement on my other ratchet so I know what size, uh, detent the, uh, to you, uh, order for it so I can, uh, so I can replace it. Uh, but I'll do that at a later time. But anyway, all right, everybody, uh, hope this was, uh, Something you can use, uh, like, subscribe, whatever you need to do, uh, ask questions. Uh, thank you for, uh, for watching, and uh, have a blessed day.